thank you very much for staying with us once again it's always a pleasure to have you join us on this channel yes today we are going to discuss a lot of things ghana versus switzerland last pre World Cup friendly game um the black stars will be playing and um, we are going to bring you some details about that particular match in this particular video so do uh, to stay with us ghanaian players getting injured ghanaian players getting injured three ghanaian players um injured ahead of the world cup <laughs> i'm going to bring you the details over here in this particular video and some other world cup stories um yes in this video so do well to subscribe to the channel if this is your first time watching us here like this video hit the notification bell and select all do well to leave your thoughts and comments below in the comment section if you have any yes all the black stars update exclusive content exclusive videos about the world cup and everything ghana will be live here on sports 7 ga so do all to subscribe um for us now if you go to the kotoka international airport that's the main airport for ghana as a country yes they have, they have started their preparations towards the world cup a fantastic images and fantastic animations um at the kotuka international airport right now yes you know ghana will be represented at the world cup and so some of these institutions have to um prepare themselves for the world cup and all of that and so this is how kotuka international airport prepares itself for the 2022 world cup over there yeah <laughs> ghana for you now the coach of the senior national team the black stars coach utuado um, will announce the final 26 month squad of the black stars on um 14th of november 2022 that is according to the ghana football association and everything it's official 14th of november 2022 coach utuado will announce the final 26 man squad but i mean i don't get it though i don't know when fifa will publish all the 26 man squad of all countries but fifa is expected to publish it on the 14th of november i don't know the time they will do it so if they are going to publish it on the 12th 12 a.m or 14th of november then it means that uh, this press conference will be for nothing because before you do the press conference would have known all the players um, who will be going okay maybe for questions and all those things but i don't really know why they will do that um, press conference on the 14th of november at least come 13 12 11 if you can do this particular press conference all right um, i'm sure maybe it is because coach otuado is a part-time coach and so he's working for dotmon and dotmon will release him somewhere around um, saturday and sunday after their game and so that he will come so maybe that's why uh, <laughs> he's doing that for the senior national team the blasters now Tariq lamte scored yesterday in their game versus um uh, in their game versus Arsenal in the Carabao Cup, a wonderful and fantastic goal Tariq Lamti scored. He passed the ball to an attacker, and attacker passed it to him on the on the left side of the at of the attack. Okay, on the left side of the attack, and then he entered the ball and with a very fantastic shot, he slotted the ball into the net, and Tariq Lamti scored for brighton yes he started that particular game versus arsenal and then he scored also for them so that's a very good one for Tarek lamta ahead of the 2022 world cup he wasn't injured that is also good news over there now um, let's talk about baba idrisu and the injuries of the senior national team the black stars baba idrisu got injured he was substituted in the first half of the game versus aletko madrid mallorca versus aletko madrid in the spanish la liga they played yes uh, yesterday and so we are just uh, waiting to see if there will be no bad news like he's out of the world cup and all of that and maybe it will be just a knock okay that is our hope that it will just be a knock and not a serious injury but baba, um, baba idrisu one of the defensive midfielders of the blasters um got injured and was substituted in their game versus aletko madrid now daniel kofiture is said to be reports say that he's one of the injured players of the black stars as he has not featured for his side sc freiberg in the bundesliga yes he's not played for them in their two games they've played the last two games freiberg has played but um the reports also say that he will be fit in time for the world cup and so there is no problems or qualms about that the third player supposed to be injured is kamal din Sulemana 
of um, Rene. Yes, he got injured last week uh, with a calf or ankle injury and all of that. But we've seen him back on the pitch training with the group. And so everything is fine. Kamal Din Suleimana is fit and ready to play over there. Let's see if the last games in the French League uh, before the World Cup, which is this particular Saturday's games, he will not sustain any injury and he will join the Black Stars for the 2022 World Cup over there. Now, let's delve into the Ghana versus Switzerland game. Ghana will be playing their last friendly game versus Switzerland. Yes, last pre World Cup friendly versus Switzerland in Abu Dhabi, um, United Arab Emirates. Switzerland is a fantastic, strong squad, um, strong side in Europe. Yes, I told you like the last time that they eliminated France in the last euros they, that was played so they are very strong side and they have released their 26 man squad for the 2022 world cup and so 26 man squad um that will be facing ghana over there um jegdran shakiri old good old jegdran shakiri is in granny zaka is ring in remo fraula denis zakaria jibri so these are midfielders who are in the squad defenders you can talk like ricardo rodriguez fabian shah mano akanji of manchester city he's also in nico nico elverdi sylvan widmer they are right back over the goalkeepers they have jan soma jan soma of borussia munchinglaba fantastic goalkeeper who is very very solid in the post they named four goalkeepers four solid goalkeepers they named over there the forwards they have um Briel imbolo of monaco rubin vargas christian fashnad noah ukafu noah ukafu harris seferovic yes good old harris seferovic i remember him from the heroes a very fantastic man 20 by now he's around 30 something um but he scored goals for them um, yes, so Switzerland has have released their squad, the final 26-man squad for the World Cup. And of course, this, these players will be meeting Ghana in the last pre-World Cup friendly um, as we prepare for the, um, for the World Cup. So yes, Ghana, we are also waiting for our final 26. That will be meeting France as well. And that will be meeting Switzerland as well as going into the 2022 World Cup over there thank you very much for staying with us for all the updates we brought you here do want to subscribe to the channel for lots more fantastic updates exclusive content analysis of games and everything subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell and select or like this video and leave your thoughts and comments below in the comment section thank you very much i'll see you in the next one bye bye